Hello everyone, so another week means another set of changes for the upcoming 4.4 characters and I believe this will be the last set of big changes so any actual change after this will be quite a surprise. So with that, let's just quickly go over what changed. First of all, Gaming had no changes, which is great because he's been looking like a pretty solid pyro DPS, especially for a 4 star. I would say he's quite versatile in teammates, he can use the normal pyro support such as Farina, Shang Chu Yalan, even Bennett Kazua, and can utilize Shen Yun because he plunges. And like I said, his team DPS, especially for a 4 star, seems pretty solid and looking really good when you get C6. So yeah, Gaming is still gaming. Next, onto the big elephant in the room, Shen Yun. So first thing, originally it said that in order to cast your initial skill cast, you needed to be on the ground and it seems like they have removed that text so you can kind of jump and then do your initial cast of E and then do your E plunge, double E plunge, triple E plunge. Similar to how Kazuo can jump and then you can press his E midair. I think that's pretty cool. I think that helps in exploration. So yeah, nice change. Next, they buffed her triple E plunge multiplier to 607%. So if you're one of those people looking to play DPS Shen Yun, whoopee, slight buff. And this triple E plunge buff is especially significant if you are a major Shen Yun simp and is wanting to go C6 because that's when you actually just spam triple E plunges and make her a DPS so that will be a huge DPS increase. Other than that, if you're just going to do support, it doesn't really matter. The second to last change, which I think is actually her most important change, is that they decided to buff her A4 plunge damage bonus again. Most recently, her A4 talent that increases flat damage on plunge attacks used to scale off of 180% of Shen Yun's attack. Now, they increased it to 200%. And with the normal A4 buff, they also, again, in accordance, buffed the C2. Just showing quick calculations of how much flat damage you get. At 180%, the actual flat damage increase was 5,400 but now it's 6,000. But remember, this flat damage bonus buff is similar to Shenha and Yunjin. I think this graphic made by KQM on Shenha's quills visualizes how this flat damage bonus actually works within the damage formula. So I can see the additive base damage bonus is what you want to see here. And you can see that after being added by your DPS's attack and talent, it gets multiplied by both crit and damage percent. So it's not actually plus 6,000 damage. You actually multiply it by crit or damage percent so it's much more and just to hammer this point even further i wanted to show some actual calculations on how much actual damage in a rotation that shen yun's plunge damage bonus from her a4 actually gives and just to preface this i am not a big calc guy myself i think that there are plenty other people in the community that do calculations way better than i can so i think it just makes more sense to kind of reference their work because they do a lot of great work so the numbers that i'm going to show are from uh, jstern25 i've been following him for a while and personally i think he's a very solid theory crafter and does a lot of work on stream he's pretty good and pretty reliable so again the numbers i'm going to show are based on his calculations he does it on stream Big credit to Jstern. So just the original Shen Yun plunge damage bonus from her A4, which originally scaled off a 150% attack, already gave 37,000 extra damage per plunge. And if we assume six plunges, that's 226 damage just from Shen Yun existing in the party and you performing plunge attacks. And with the change now, it's up to 50,000 extra damage, and you're adding around 301,000 damage added per rotation. I believe this assumes around a 3.3 thousand attack Shen. Yin, which I think is pretty high. I think 3,000 is more reasonable for the average player. But even at 3,000, these numbers aren't going to change like drastically, right? That 50,000 may drop to, I don't know, 45 or 40,000, and you're still going to get around 250,000 damage added per rotation. And just another example showing this, he calculated a team DPS count with Hu Tao, Farina, Yalan, and Shen Yun. And if you include some plunge collisions, that's 87,000 DPS, assuming a 21 second rotation. And with Hu Tao performing six and one charge attacks followed with a jump and a plunge. Different theory crafters, different assumptions, don't really take the actual number at face value, but just me comparing the overall number compared to other team DPS numbers, the number is pretty high, indicating that Shen Yun's buff will be very good in teams that can use her. And this isn't even considering the 4% crit rate that you get when you E plunge on Shen Yun. So yes, I think we all know that she'll be pretty solid in plunge oriented teams. But I think the interesting thing to note is that I find it funny that they continue to buff her kind of strongest part of her kit and this might be a little bit cope but so far there are only a select characters that can utilize plunge attacks like really well and can incorporate it in their rotation however with these continual added buffs to her a4 i wouldn't be surprised if just adding shen yun to a team when they may not originally wanted to plunge just adding her to the team because of the actual damage that her a4 gives then you actually just want to force a plunge because the damage that she gives is actually significant so for example i mentioned that in a yai aggravate team with i would say yai 
why Nahida, Kuki, and Kazuha as one of the best teams for because you have Kazuha. I think it would be funny to actually see that because of Shen Yun's plunge buff, it actually might be better to just replace Kazuha and then put in Fischl because she does more DPS than Kuki and you don't need the healer anymore because Shen Yun fills that slot. This idea also works for Farina teams that we originally thought that, oh, you don't want to plunge, so just using her over Jean doesn't really do anything. Like I said, it might be cope and we need some live testing, but I think it'd be really funny that since they continually buffed her A4, we may have reached the case that that A4 extra damage is actually really significant that you just might want to plunge on any character that we use with her. And the last change that happened that I think has more controversial takes is the change to her burst healing. Now, there are a lot of numbers that are changed around, but the overall summary is that the on-cast instant burst healing has been nerfed slightly, but the healing over time from her burst has been buffed. And ultimately, if you add all the multipliers together, it's overall a healing buff but just slightly to the point where I would say it doesn't really matter. So I did some calculations, you can pause and read them. And this is with no healing bonus taken into account if you're running Farina because Fanfare also gives healing bonus. I think the point of contention here is that even though the overall multiplier of the healing has been buffed, people have pointed out that the instant healing has been nerfed and the instant healing was more important because you can gain fanfare stacks more quickly with Farina with that instant heal. So with a decrease on that instant heal, you're not getting as much front-loaded fanfare stacks. So you can see my own Jean's instant healing that I calculated, it heals for 16,000 compared to the 6,000 that I've assumed for Shen Yin. And yes, Jean's healing over time is worse than Shen Yin. I think everyone knows this, but at the point of contention is the instant heal when you cast a burst. And there's been a good amount of people that say that, oh, because Jean's instant heal is way more, you can front load fanfare stacks better, and that makes the healing much better than Shen Yin. And there's the other people that say, well, that doesn't really matter. The overall healing has been buffed. So what's the deal? To demonstrate this idea of Jean versus Shen Yin healing in terms of fanfare stacks, I did some rotations on the first floor of Abyss with this Raiden hyper carry team with Farine and Yolan, which you'll see in the background. What I want you to focus on is the rotation I use and the relative team HP, because that is the indication of fanfare stacks. I do two different types of rotations. The first one you're seeing now is using Gene Burst, which is a source of healing, near the beginning of the rotation, right before the main DPS does their thing and does their rotation. This is to compare between if Shen Yun was on the team, because you would want to use her burst right before the main DPS to maximize the time to plunge. But in terms of healing, which I want to show, the main DPS doesn't necessarily need to be one of those plunge characters. So in this first rotation, the main thing I want to point out is at the time of using Jean's burst, my team is like at around 80% HP. So in this case, I don't need the massive upfront Jean heal to heal my characters. Shen Yun's lower initial heal would pretty much do the same thing. And secondly, because my team is not that low, the supposed front-loading fanfare stacks is pretty much non-existent. Without that much to heal, Jean doesn't produce as much fanfare stacks, and it's probably the case that Shen Yun actually produces more during the rotation because of her higher team heal over time. Now, of course, if your team is at 50% HP at the start of the rotation, then Jean's burst will heal more and produce more fanfare instantly. But just performing this rotation, as you see in the background, my team doesn't really get that low even past the first rotation which was quite surprising because I didn't expect Jean to actually keep up. It might be because I was staying in her field or I was able to stay in her field, but it could also just be a testament to her healing ability or just mean not getting hit by the boss. But of course, these factors may change and that will make Jean's healing and production of fanfare stacks either stronger or weaker while Shen Yun's healing has a much higher consistency. In the second run, I changed my rotation to delay my gene burst for the second rotation, so I ensure to get max value for that second rotation. As you can see, this does work, and this is a case where Gene does actually front load fanfare as a huge benefit to main carries, especially Raiden, because they want that buff earlier and more upfront. But this comes with a couple flaws. The first thing is that because I don't gene burst at the start, uh, the first rotation has much less fanfare because you don't activate any healing. And I personally don't think that just gimping your first rotation is that good of a strategy. And second thing is that catching some glimpse on the third rotation, it seems like my team is actually much healthier than the start of the second rotation. So the front loading of fanfare is diminished and from just observing this run, the front load of fanfare really only gained a lot of value in one rotation, which is the second rotation. And the third thing is that we have to remember that our team HP is not just a source of damage bonus from 
Farina's fanfare stack, but it also poses a risk to our survivability. Because obviously, having your team maintain a lower HP results in a higher risk of one of our characters just accidentally dying. And while Jean can definitely 100% maintain a high HP for your team, because her healing is pretty good, right? This kind of goes against the idea that Jean's initial burst, her healing, gives a lot of benefit because of front-loading fanfare. With Shen Yun's healing ticks, she can also maintain your team's HP, with the higher HP ticks contributing to a more solid flow of fanfare stacks over time. So for these reasons, I find that Jean's benefit of quote front-loading fanfare just because of a higher initial heal to be somewhat overrated, to the point where people just use this description to conclude that Jean's healing is just straight up better than Shen Yun's. I just don't think that's the case in practice, you would need to have your team add a low HP for each rotation and time Jean's burst at the start of a new Farina burst to gain that front loading benefit and as I show in my runs of the background, these scenarios don't happen very consistently and I personally value consistency and survivability because at the end of the day, if you just have a properly built Farina team, realistically there are no huge differences between switching between using Jean or using Shen Yun as the healer. Sure there might be some scenarios where one will produce more uh, fanfare stacks at a more opportune time and thus give you more damage, but they both ultimately do their job perfectly fine and it's very unlikely that you just won't be able to clear an abyss floor just because you couldn't front loan stacks with Shen Yun or something. So that's all the changes I wanted to cover this time around. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I believe that this will be the last set of big changes, so unless they pull a Kokomi and buffer or Jellyfish Hydro app ICD right before the patch, I don't think that there will be any more big changes for Shen Yun and Gaming. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for similar Genshin discussions and feel free to leave any questions in the comments or if you want some further discussion about some of the points I made. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day.